So La Société Anonyme came together at the end of my master's. So it's me and a classmate, uh, Dusan Barok, he's from Slovakia. And uh, Amrik Mansou was a teacher of me at the time. He uh, is from France and his wife is in the um, collective as well. SCORE is, uh, stands for Stichting Kunst Openbare Ruimte, which is Dutch for Foundation of Art in Public Space. It started actually that we worked for SCORE for a different type of project and then when, while working there uh, we got our budget cut, our SCORE codex got, the SCORE got their budget cut by 100%. So it moved from can you make a project for us to can you preserve score in a certain way. So we did exactly that um, and then we chose um, to preserve score in a book format. So yeah, the media that I used for the or we used for the score codex is really um, project based. So it's just it's really about the conceptual side of the score codex that we used paper because paper is yeah can preserve data for longer than most electronic media every page contains binary so black and white pixels for zero and ones we knew we could make about 300 page book um, and then if you know that you know how much data you might store in the book but we wanted the images to be visually pleasing as well so you have limited data and then you need to really calculate how much data can fit into the book. And that means how much pictures can you make and how long can interviews be. And calculating all that, that was uh, the biggest challenge. We are thinking about a new work because we are a very new art collective and the Score Codex is our first work. Uh, we are thinking about using patents as a way to transfer knowledge, so patents for the arts. Um, and on the other hand, the SCORE Codex, we are now talking about possibilities to show the SCORE Codex in Indonesia.